Child, why that man? Jacob slept with that girl's sister. I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall when Rachel found out. Jacob, I know you did not sleep with my sister. Man, it wasn't even like that, man. I just, man, your daddy, he like just brought her in. I thought it was you. I know you know what all of this look like. But I was in the dark, so I couldn't tell the difference between you and Leah, man. I mean, it wasn't even like you that. You know I've been competing with my sister all my life. Are you going to pull this? I, man, just give me a week, bro. Just give me a week. A man. week? It'll be me and you, baby. It'll just be me and you. Oh, Jacob. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed our fly on the wall theory about Jacob, Rachel, and Leah. Remember, okay, this is not real. We made this up. This is not in the scripture. We're not saying this is in the scripture. We're not saying this is missing from the scripture. We're not saying that this was in a story in a missing book in the Bible and we're just bringing it up to you. No, this is our own theory on yeah. what happened in that middle part that doesn't yeah. have an explanation. It probably didn't happen. It's just our take on it to add some comedy to it, to get yeah. you interested in the scripture, to get you reading the word mm -hmm. for yourself. Exactly. Which leads us into our Bible tea. I don't know why we have to say it like that. But this is where we actually talk about the, what happens with Rachel, Jacob, and Leah scripturally and what happens so that you can get an understanding and ultimately yeah. so that you can take this for yourself and actually get an understanding of what was happening. So yeah. we're going to answer some questions or deal with some misconceptions that people have about this specific story. How did Jacob meet Rachel? So he was actually... Um, wondering and he saw her and was like oh my gosh she's so beautiful and then the person told her that's Laban's daughter and yeah that's how they kind of met and he found that he found his uncle cousin yeah. it was his uncle Laban's uncle yeah yeah Laban's Laban. his uncle <laughs> yeah but yeah and ultimately he was given the instruction by his his, his father to go find yeah. um he says, go find his uncle Canaanite. Laban. Right. He yeah. needed to go find his boo thing. And his daddy was like, go yep. see Laban. So he goes towards that area. He sees Rachel. She was like, mm -hmm. he was like, oh yeah, she's fine. It's, okay. He didn't say that, <laughs> but he, <laughs> he saw, he saw her or whatever. He finds mm -hmm. out that, you know, Laban's her father, mm -hmm. that whole sort of thing. And ultimately he just went to Laban yeah. to work or whatever. Um, and, then, and this is where he meets Rachel. Yeah. Cause that's when the dad was like. I don't want you working all this time and not me not pay you. And so he was like, what do you want? And then that's when he asked He was like, Rachel. I want your daughter. I want Rachel. I want your girl. Can I have her? <laughs> and daddy said yes. Okay. <laughs> what was the difference between Rachel and Leah? So according to the scripture, they say. They say that. That Leah had some weak eyes. Weak in the eyes. And then they say Rachel was fine as wine. Right. Okay. Um, so scripturally, it, did, it, it pretty much says that. Uh, Rachel was more attractive than right. Leah. Rachel was also the younger sister. Leah was the older sister. Yeah. So, um, we let me know in the comments. What, like, what does weak eyes mean to you? I just want to know. Yeah, because you know the little philosophers, the commentators, yeah, all the people say that it just means she was less attractive. Doesn't right. necessarily mean she was uglier that her eyes was right. weak or anything. It was just <laughs> so, not. He, she wasn't as attractive to Jacob as yeah. um, Rachel was. Yeah. So I'm just, yeah, that's the that's the weird part. And what did Laban do to Jacob? Oh, he messed my boy up. I mean, I felt bad for Jacob. I'm not even going to lie. My man was working out in them streets for seven years for some Rachel. And guess what did daddy do? Laban going to send Leah in the bedroom. In the bed. And I'm just like, now you knew what you was doing, Laban. Definitely. And so now I'm just sorry. But no. Um, no, he, no, he definitely knew what he was doing. Yeah, that he, was intentional. Yeah. And he says it. And he said it. He said, technically, from where where they were at, they don't do it like that. Like they Now, don't ultimately, marry. he was, he was a little trickster because yeah. he had... He had he let Jacob think that he was going to get right, Rachel, right. which is interesting because you know we know that Jacob was a trickster, and now the trickster is getting tricked. <laughs> um, but so, yeah, yeah, so he knew he was doing it intentionally. Yeah. Um, he knew what he was doing. Yeah. So yeah, Laban um, brought Leah in the bedroom for the honeymoon, and my boy Jacob woke up and was like, "What is this? This is not Rachel." And his daddy was like, "Well, you don't get the first, you don't get the second child, or whatever." The, you got to marry the first child. And so he was like, fine. Uh, and so he was like, um, I'll give you Rachel after the honeymoon week. Yeah. In which the dad gave him. He gives it to him after yeah, the week. After the week. And, but Still. a lot of people don't know 
he still had to wait like he still had to like work for him for those seven years yeah. so i think some people think like he worked 14 years then got rachel but technically yeah biblical and scripture wise it says he did the seven years got leah after the honeymoon week with leah yeah. then he uh, rachel was his wife he but he still wife. had to wait yeah seven, but he still had to work for him yeah, for another work. seven years yeah. once again we do this because we want to share the gospel we want you to know scripture for yourself yes. we hope that this is we hope that this inspires you um to re to read the word for yourself to get understanding um mm -hmm. to not to just listen to what you hear on social media but to really understand it for yourself yeah um and so we want you to know that jesus loves you um that he has a has a seat waiting for you um he desires to have a relationship with you and we desire for you too as well so we're just yes. going to pray for you um so lord we just thank you even now um god for salvation god we thank you for offering it to us as a free gift god we pray for every person that's watching that they would accept you into their hearts as lord and savior god that they would see you for who you are as a loving father God as a loving king who desires to be in relationship with them God who loves them who sees um them for who they are Lord we just pray for love we pray for peace that they would experience your goodness um God every day Lord and we just thank you for these things in Jesus name we pray amen amen all right go ahead and hit that like button subscribe and send this and share this with someone that you love and want to see come to Jesus deuces Jacob, why you sleep with my sister? I ain't even know, man. What you mean? You ain't know. I just... You don't I know what all of this look like? I don't know. I just... <laughs>